All right, what's up, Woolies? Got the NFL draft tomorrow night. I got two experts that came in to show them um, their opinions what they think is going to happen. First off, I got draft expert Joey B. All right, thank you for having me. No problem. Welcome, everybody, to the 2021 Woolly News Whoa. draft night uh, mock draft special. I'm going to take it from here. Now I got uh, my the friend real. Tony Vaccaro. The real the expert. The real expert, as he says. The expert. Here he is. How you doing? Tony, thanks for coming on. Cool. Excited to hear your input on the draft. All right, let's get right into it. First overall pick, Jackson with Jaguars, 20. It's a no-brainer. Trevor Lawrence, Clemson quarterback. Absolutely. Best prospects, arguably, since Andrew Luck, quarterback out of Clemson. Uh, won a national championship his freshman year, made it the second year. And um, overall, great college career. Excited to see him as a prospect in the NFL. So I'm going to join you there. I'm going to go Lawrence. He's a flat-out stud. Absolutely. You want to take uh, number two? Sure thing. Uh, so also in the lock, I believe, uh, quarterback Zach Wilson out of BYU. Uh, raw talent, hasn't played the uh, best competition in college yet, uh, but going to the Jets, new coach Robert Sala. He's a defensive coach, but I think they're going to gel well. No, and, I'm, I'm um, not a fan of Sala, personally. You're not a fan of Sala? No. I'm interested to see how it goes. AFC East, a lot of young quarterbacks in there. Um, but yeah, we're going to see uh, Wilson. I think they're very far away, but they're going to take Zach Wilson here, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, the first two, you know, it's kind of already set in stone. And uh, really, the third overall pick with the 49ers is where the draft starts. So, uh, Tony, I'll start us off. Let's go. So, third pick, we talked about this. We had a couple of disagreements, but this might come as a surprise. I don't think it will be. I'm going to take Justin Fields wow. at uh, Ohio State. That is definitely a surprise. 49ers have been rumored to they're choosing either Mac Jones or Trey Lance, but I think it's smoke. I think it's smoke. They're Absolutely. going out. They're taking Justin Fields. He's yeah. the best quarterback there. You know, if I'm looking at it, we're doing a mock draft, but we're predicting what's going to happen. But if I'm general manager of the 49ers, I'm taking Fields. I think he's probably, if not third, the second best quarterback in the class. And, um, I agree with that. you know, so I'm personally, since we're guessing what they're going to do, I'm going to go with Mac Jones. Um, I think that him and Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco are going to be a good fit, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, he started uh, just these past two years. Uh, Mac Jones going to the 49ers. Kyle Shanahan, he's an offensive genius. And, you know, I really don't think they could go wrong here. I think any quarterback that goes into their system uh, up in uh, the Bay is going to do well. But I think that they really like Mac Jones. Um, so let's go uh, fourth overall. Falcons, you said they needed a quarterback a while back. You're kind of off of that now. I think that they're... I think I'm going to shock you with my pick yet. Yeah. Are you? I'm, it's, it's changed since yesterday. Let, let me go first with mine. I think they're going to go with arguably the best player in this draft. Offensive weapon, uh, unreal talent, tight end Kyle Pitts out of Florida. Um, he's, you know, shown so much potential uh, in the NFL, built like a stud, and i um, really excited to see where uh, he ends up. Um, I think Atlanta's going to take him, really going to help their offense out. New head coach, offensive mind at of Tennessee, Arthur Smith. Uh, what do you think good for? Yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised you. Yeah, I'm going to go Sewell from uh, Oregon. Sewell, really? Yeah. I think, you know, the Falcons, they were just in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. They got yep. Matt Ryan. He's at the end of his career. Yeah. you got to protect him. you got Calvin Ridley. you got Julio Jones. I think you get Sewell here. I mean, need one last push with Ryan. Yeah, let's be honest. I mean, you can't go wrong with that pick. Panay Sewell, a tackle. I mean, you know, he's just one of those guys that you know is going to be a stud regardless. Um, so I could definitely see that happening, and I think a lot of people could as well. So, so that's uh, fourth overall. Right here, I'm going to go fifth overall, uh, the Bengals. I got the Bengals taking Panay Sewell, as you just took him. Uh, like you said, unreal talent. And I think yeah. Joe Burrow, after tearing his ACL last year, you can't go wrong with helping him out protecting on the line. So I think that's just a safe pick. Uh, what do you got for um, fifth overall, the Bengals? Bengals, yeah, I agree with you. With the line, they had the worst offensive line of football last year. I'm going to take Rashad Slater at uh, Northwestern. Really? So you think they're going line, regardless? Have to. Makes sense. I can, I can definitely see that Sewell off the board. I think, I'm think i thinking that the Bengals um, definitely think that Sewell's going to be there. So if he goes four, that'll be a surprise for sure. Uh, sixth overall, Dolphins. What do you got? No. Exactly what you said about Kyle Pitts. He's arguably the best player in this draft. Yeah. And Tua, Tua lucks out. He's there at six. And 
Miami's looking pretty good after this first round. Adam Pitts. Absolutely. Pitts, if he's there, I mean, the Dolphins are jumping up with joy. Dolphins getting Pitts definitely. for two attack of Iowa. Um, so I also think they're going to go offensive weapon. Personally, I think Pitts is going four, so I'm going to go with the next best uh, receiver. I'm going to go Jamar Chase out of LSU. Um, can't go wrong there. Absolutely. You know, add another dimension on the outside for Tua. Um, if he can't succeed with getting Chase on his roster, then I'm not sure if there's much hope for him. So I'm definitely going uh, Chase out of LSU. Then I'm going to go Chase with the uh, seventh pick. Help uh, Detroit. Jared Goff out there. You know, maybe he can turn it around over here in Detroit. Probably not. Maybe. Can't hurt for sure. All right, guys. So this is where I think the draft starts to get interesting. I think there's some trades that go on here. Um, seven at Detroit. They've been making it clearly vocal that they are willing to uh, accept trades. They're trying to trade back, get some picks. They only have six picks this draft, so it makes sense for them to trade back. So uh, I got Detroit trading the pick, and I got the New England Patriots coming up and trading for the seventh overall pick. And we all know what position the Patriots are going for, seventh overall. They can choose between two quarterbacks, Justin Fields and Trey Lance. All reports, I'm going to trust them. I'm going to trust my sources. Justin Fields is their guy. So I got Fields. Yep. QB. Patriots. Hey, Joe. Yep. As a Pats fan, are you happy with this pick? I am. Fields is personally uh, behind Lawrence, my second favorite prospect here. And uh, getting him at seven, I think, is a steal. You know, I thought earlier in the draft process, they'd have to move up to at least four or five to get him. But um, from what I'm hearing is that uh, seven is probably the low, the highest he's going to go. And, um, you know, if the Patriots can't trade up to seven, they can even look at eight, nine, and ten. Uh, those picks are definitely going to be up for grabs. But Fields to the Pats, I think he's. He will be the future of the Pats. I think he's going to uh, blend great with the Pats. And uh, behind Cam Newton for this season, I think it's going to go well. So I got uh, Patriots trading up to seven and uh, getting fields. So now at eight, Carolina. You know, I thought about this a lot because Carolina, they just got Sam Darnold. There's so many things you could do here. I need, there's so many good players left. Patrick Citrain looked at him, mm -hmm. Jalen Waddle. And I just think you can't pass up on Waddle mm -hmm. bringing over Sam Darnold. Definitely going to help him out over there. Absolutely. So you got wide receivers going back to back seven and eight. I do. That's interesting. I mean, yeah, you can't hurt with Waddle. I think he's easily the second best wide receiver in this class. I mean, he's dirty. You know, maybe the second best short thing, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like that pick, actually. Uh, so what do we got here? So at eight, at eight, I actually have the Denver Broncos trading up. They're at nine right now. I got the Broncos going at eight. And I also have them trading up to get a quarterback. The last quarterback out of the top five, Trey Lance. I got them going at eight. Just for the fact that I think Carolina, they're nervous that Carolina might take one. I don't think Carolina is looking at taking a quarterback, but they're going to move up to eight. Just And also because I think uh, Carolina is going to be looking for trades at someone at the bottom, someone who wants Trey Lance. So I think they want to uh, secure that up, just get their pick. It's probably going to be hefty. It's probably not going to be uh, an easy trade up, but I got the Broncos taking Lance. I like that. I like that. At eight. I also have them taking Lance, but at nine. I think they're moving off from Locke. Mm. Maybe a little too early, but. I don't think he'll start off the season, but I think he's definitely going to be there for, um, you know, for the team. Um, yeah, so I got, I think we both, so we both have Broncos going, getting Lance. Yeah. Um, ninth overall, so I, that means um, the Panthers have the ninth overall now. And I'm going to have them take offensive tackle. Uh, Rashawn Slater, who you have going fifth overall. And uh, Rashawn Slater is a natural talent, like you said. Uh, oh. second, he's second best, maybe even the best lineman in this draft. Who knows? Um, and I think that's a steal at nine compared to where you had him at five. And um, I, I don't think he will get past the ninth overall pick. I think that's a great fit for the Panthers, helping out um, Sam Darnold, uh, Christian McCaffrey in the run game. I like Darnold. I think, yeah, I think there's some stuff that's going so 10, you know, this pick kills me as a Giants fan, but the Cowboys are going to go get uh, Sir Train. Yep, Sir Chan. Uh, Alabama? Yes, sir. Great corner. Um, he's scouted as the top corner in this draft. And, you know, years past, you see usually a defensive back going at least uh, one through nine. This year, there's nothing. 
and uh, 10. You know, I think that's a steal for the Cowboys, just uh, purely based on how stacked this year's draft is. I mean, he's a top 10 talent. That just shows you how stacked this class is. No, absolutely. So I think Sertan at uh, 10. I think Sertan's a great quarter uh, prospect, but I'm going to go J.C. Horn out of South Carolina at uh, corner. I think they're like this. They're I both equal. I agree with it. But, um, yeah, I think J.C. Horn, uh, corner out of uh, South Carolina, plays in the same conference as uh, Sertan. Uh, face up against some of the same guys, but I just I don't know. I just got a feeling that um, Cowboys are going to take him. I could see them taking Sertan too, but I think it's kind of a toss up between the two. They're going defensive back. Uh, who do you got for eleven with hey, your G man? Hey, What's so up? So we get to the tenth pick here. The Heisman isn't off the board. He's not on the board yet. Yep. What, what are you thinking about this? What's going on here? Monte Smith. Uh, so the Heisman, you know, top ten. He had unreal uh, numbers as a wide receiver uh, this year, but. You know, his size is obviously a factor. People will look at that. Uh, what does he weigh, 160 pounds, six foot? So he's a little guy. And um, people, you know, people in the front offices of NFL teams are going to take that against him and uh, hold it against him. But I think, you know, I do have him going a little bit lower yeah. in this draft. So we'll see that when it comes. But um, yeah, 10 horn. And uh, who do you got, Antonio, for your favorite team, the Giants, at number 11? This is tough here. I'm looking at my board. I got two guys in my mind. I got Micah Parsons and the Heisman you just spoke about, Devontae Smith. It's tough here. This is tough. But I'm going to go Micah Parsons. Yeah. There's the best defensive pro uh, talent in this draft. I think he is the best at this draft. I think they luck out with him at 11. And you just can't pass up on him. Absolutely, I'm with you. I'm actually going Parsons as well. I think that's a perfect fit. Can't go wrong with a linebacker, but and I think he'll develop soon uh, to be one of the best defensive players on the Giants for sure. So I'm going to go uh, Parsons at 11. I'll hop right into 12 here. Go ahead. This is a no-brainer for me if I'm Doug Peterson in this Eagles team. As much as this hurts me, NFC East, take the Heisman. Yep. Devontae Smith. I think that's a good fit, personally. I think the Eagles, you know, they drafted a wide receiver last year's draft. Uh, did not pan out. They took the wrong guy. Everyone knows that. Two years um, in a row. That's two years in a row. Yeah, it is. And um, I'm going to go also wide receiver. Same position. But on my draft board, you got to see who's still available. You took Waddle at 8. I'm going Waddle at 12. I think he's a better, better talent than uh, Devontae Smith. So I'm going to go. Yeah, I do. Wide receiver out of Alabama. You think he's more talented or do you think he's the safer pick? More talented. Really? And the safer pick. Yeah, I'm a big Waddle guy. Uh, if you look at his years on early on, freshman, sophomore numbers, they were insane. They were. He was definitely the higher uh, prospect. Up this year, but. He was. He didn't play much this year, but I think he's going to be great. And perfect fit for the Eagles, especially. Losing out on uh, Deshaun Jackson. So um, he'll be nice to replace. 13 with the Chargers. Um, personally, here, I got them. Um, LA Chargers, I think they need a lineman badly. I think they're going to try the best one on the board. Um, and that's Elijah Barry Tucker, offensive lineman at the USC. I got the same thing, so I'll just, just throw it up. Absolutely. Um, I think a lot of people have the same thing on other mock drafts. But I think Barry Tucker is a great prospect. Chargers can't help him, it can't help him out more uh, with Justin Herbert back there. Absolutely. inside out, they definitely help Herbert. Absolutely. 14, Minnesota Vikings, who you got? I got the guy you took earlier, I got J.C. Horn. Mm. Yeah, you know, the Vikings, they're so close every year. I think Horn might, he might be the guy that can help him get over that hump. I think you're right. I'm also gonna go defensive back. Uh, you took him at 10, Sertan, out of Alabama. Yeah. I think they need Definitely. help on the defense. Uh, coach Mike Zimmer, defensive coach. I think it's gonna work out well. Fifteen. You still have the Patriots deck. I have the Lions deck. Uh, what do you got? Mm, I got him taking Mac Jones. I think if Jones is there at fifteen, the way Newton played last year, if you bellow check, I think you got to take. You got to take a chance on Mac Jones. Yeah. I like that Mac Jones. Um, you know, falling. I have him going three. You have him going fifteen. That's a big drop. Uh, but let's be honest, though. Forty Nineers are really the only team. Uh, up top that have shown a lot of interest in Mac Jones. You know, I think if he doesn't go three, I think you're right. He probably does go 15. 
And um, yeah, so I think Mac Jones, that would be an interesting fit, uh, personally. But, um, so here we go for the Pats. I have them trading uh, down to Detroit. I think Detroit needs, um, they need a lot of things, let's be honest. I'm just going to go with someone that I think will be a, a good talent on the defensive end. I'm going to go Quiddy Pay out of Michigan. Um, I think. I'm honestly not a fan of Pay. You know, I think he could be an effective player for the Lions for sure. I like him. I like him on the end. And, um, you know, let's be honest. Patriots trading up to seven for the Lions. Uh, being at 15, they're going to get a lot of picks for that, and I think they're fine with taking Pay at 15. Um, so the last pick of our mock draft, the Cardinals. You want to start us off? Yeah, so Cardinals, they definitely had a turnaround year last year. Yep. Kyle Murray looks great. Absolutely. DeAndre Hopkins looks great. Offensive side of the ball, they look top top of the league, probably. I think they go and get Caleb Farley here. Mm. The corner. Another stud. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, yep. Yeah, he's a, he's a great corner. There's a lot of good defensive great backs in this draft, for sure. So you can't go wrong there. Losing out on Patrick Peterson as well. Yeah, that definitely hurts, but kind of replace him. His time is coming. So. Yeah. So, like you said, Cardinals offense. I think that um, management, Cliff Kingsbury, they're going to try and uh, build up that offense as best as possible. You look at their roster. I don't think they really have a like a feature back. I hate to cut you off here, but I'm looking at you, boy. Devontae Smith is still there. He, he is. He's not. He's not on there. But I'll be honest with you. I don't think they're going Smith. I think they're going. They don't have a feature running back. I think they're going to go with Najee Harris out of Alabama. Over Smith. I do. Wow. At 16. Devontae Smith. I'm, I'm, I'm they, spectacle of him. You don't like Kenyon Drake? He's not long, no longer there. Uh, so he left. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so Najee Harris. I got Najee Harris going 16. And yeah. I mean, if they. Okay, it's, a, it's an interesting pick because if yeah, they no. add Smith, they're probably the best offense in the league. Yeah, but I think that Harris is really going to help their offense grow, especially in the run game, because I think um, facing teams, especially in that uh, NFC West, with no run game, I think that's going to hurt them big time, more than it would look like. So, all right, that's uh, Foley, that's it. You yeah. want to close us out? Well, thank you guys for coming on. It was great. A lot of good picks, I can Absolutely. see. Absolutely, 1 through 16. Yep. Uh, tomorrow's draft night, everybody. I hope you all watch. And uh, we're going to have a poll up on the Willie News Instagram. Uh, we're going to compare our two mock drafts, uh, drop down who you think is going to be better, uh, Antonio's mock draft or mine, and uh, make a prediction on the Willie News uh, Instagram. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching.